let's look at number four. We're going to combine C and then go to D. Did you notice that? In fact, in the very first measure, we have four quarter notes that are C, and then we have a whole measure of rest or four quarter rest that make up four beats of silence. Then the third measure is going to be D, one step up. So what that means is during that measure of rest, make sure that you close your fingers down and put your thumb on the octave key so you have enough time to adjust from C to go into D. Don't try to do the, mo the motion of the fingers as soon as you start playing. Take the moment of four beats of silence to adjust your fingers to press D down with all six fingers and the octave key. And then of course, at the very last measure there, we have four beats of silence. Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna set my metronome at 60 beats per minute. Get myself ready to play in good posture. Relax your shoulders, back straight, feet flat on the floor, tap your toe. Get your finger ready for C, which is finger two. And let's play. One, two, three. And that's number four. Let's try that again. Again, did you notice how quickly I went to D? As soon as I finished that C, the next beat, I move my fingers. So try to practice moving them as quickly as you can so that when we play uh, more than one pitch and playing melodies that change pitches much quicker, you're already used to doing that, especially between C and D, which involves a lot of movement between your fingers. Here we go, get set. One, two, three. And that's all it takes.